Good evening. This is All India Radio. I am Nishit Kumar and with me is Prashant Kumar Sena with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says success of COVID vaccination program displays our capability, lords health workers for establishing new benchmark in service to humanity. In his Man Ki Baat program, Prime Minister urges people to be vocal for local in festive season. Pradhan Mantri Atma Nirbhar Swast Bharat Yojana to be launched tomorrow in Varanasi aims to strengthen healthcare infrastructure across the country. Home Minister Amit Shah lays foundation for various developmental projects in Jammu. Over 102 crore 10 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses administered in the country so far. Recovery rate stands at 98.17%. And in T20 Cricket World Cup, India take on arch-rivals Pakistan in their first group match in Dubai. As India created history by administering 100 crore vaccine doses against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the doctors, nurses, other frontline workers and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask. Maintain Do Gaz Ki Duri for social distancing and focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that the success of the COVID vaccination program displays the capability of India. Addressing the nation in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Mr. Modi said he had firm belief that the vaccination campaign will be successful since he is well acquainted with the capabilities of the nation and its people. हमारे वैक्सीन कार्यक्रम की सफलता भारत के सामर्थ्य को दिखाती है सबके प्रयास के मंत्र की शक्ति को दिखाती है 100 करोड़ वैक्सीन डोज का आंकड़ा बहुत बड़ा जरूर है लेकिन इससे लाखों छोटी-छोटी प्रेरक और गर्व से भर देने वाली अनेक अनुभव अनेक उदाहरण जुड़े हुए हैं बहुत सारे लोग पत्र लिखकर मुझसे पूछ रहे हैं कि वैक्सीन की शुरुआत के साथ ही कैसे मुझे यह विश्वास हो गया था कि इस अभियान को इतनी बड़ी सफलता मिलेगी मुझे यह दृढ़ विश्वास इसलिए था क्योंकि मैं अपने देश अपने देश के लोगों की क्षमताओं से भली भांति परिचित हूं the Prime Minister lauded the health workers for establishing new benchmark in service to humanity through innovation and sheer determination. आप जैसे लाखों हेल्थ वर्कर्स ने उनके परिश्रम की वजह से भारत 100 करोड़ वैक्सीन डोज का पड़ाव पार कर सका है। आज मैं सिर्फ आपका ही आभार व्यक्त नहीं कर रहा हूं, बल्कि हर उस भारतवासी का आभार व्यक्त कर रहा हूं जिसने मुफ्त वैक्सीन अभियान को इतनी ऊंचाई दी, कामयाबी दी। आपको, आपके परिवार को very bahut bahut shubhkamna hai quoting sardar patel mr modi said people can take this country to loftier heights only through united efforts he said there is a lot to learn from the life and thoughts of sardar patel mr modi urged everyone to read a recently published pictorial biography of sardar patel brought out by the information and broadcasting ministry the prime minister spoke about three competitions that are going to begin on the birth anniversary of Sardar Patel on the 31st of October. They are Patriotic Song Competition, Rangoli Competition and Lullaby Competition. The Prime Minister urged young people to instill Amrit Mahotsa with energy by writing patriotic songs. These patriotic songs can be in any language. Mr. Modi said it is essential that these creations reflect the new India and fuel the country's resolve for the future. Speaking about the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Mr. Modi urged people to pledge against using the single-use plastic. He said cleanliness should not just be limited to homes this Diwali, but the neighborhood should be clean as well. अभी दीपावली पर हम सब अपनी घर की साफ सफाई में तो जुट नहीं वाले हैं लेकिन इस दौरान हमें ध्यान रखना है कि हमारे घर के साथ हमारा आस पड़ोस भी साफ रहे ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि हम अपना घर तो साफ करें लेकिन हमारे घर की गंदगी हमारे घर के बाहर हमारी सड़कों पर पहुंच जाए मैं जब स्वच्छता की बात करता हूं तब कृपा करके सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक से मुक्ति की बात 
हमें कभी भी भूलना नहीं है तो आइए हम संकल्प ले कि स्वच्छ भारत अभियान के उत्साह को कम नहीं होने देंगे हम सब मिलकर अपने देश को पूरी तरह स्वच्छ बनाएंगे और स्वच्छ रखेंगे मिस्टर मोदी ऑल्सो रिमाइंडेड पीपल टू बी वोकल फॉर लोकल इन द फेस्टिव सीजन तब से कुछ दिन बाद दिवाली तो आ ही रही है दिवाली उसके बाद फिर गोवर्धन पूजा फिर भाई दूज ये तीन त्योहार तो होंगे ही होंगे इसी दौरान छठ पूजा भी होगी नवंबर में ही गुरु नानक देव जी की जयंती भी है आप सब भी अभी से खरीदारी का प्लान करने लगे होंगे लेकिन आपको याद है ना खरीदारी मतलब वोकल फॉर लोकल आप लोकल खरीदेंगे तो आपका त्योहार भी रोशन होगा और किसी गरीब भाई बहन किसी कारीगर किसी बुनकर के घर में भी रोशनी आएगी Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be on a day long visit to Uttar Pradesh tomorrow. He will launch the ambitious Pradhan Mantri Atmanirbhar Swasthya Swasth Bharat Yojana PMASPY nationwide at a function organized in Varanasi. It aims to strengthen healthcare infrastructure across the country. With the total outlay of 64,180 crore rupees, the centrally sponsored scheme PMASPY aims to fill the gaps in health in- infrastructure, surveillance, and health research in urban and rural areas in the country till 2025-2026. In view of the global pandemic of COVID-19, the main purpose of the scheme is to make communities self-reliant in managing pandemics and health crises. under this scheme critical care services will be available in all districts of the country with population of more than 5 lakh through exclusive critical care hospital blocks while the remaining districts will be covered through referral services The center will review the action taken on the stock limit order on edible oil prices with all states and union territories tomorrow. The Department of Food and Public Distribution (DFPD) will hold meetings with all states and UTs through video conferencing. In a letter written to all states by Secretary DFPD Sidhanshu Pandey, The department has outlined initiatives taken by the center to ease prices of edible oils for relief of consumers and keeping the festive season in mind. The Consumer Affairs Ministry said the department is monitoring the prices of edible oils and their availability to consumers. It said this is especially important in view of the upcoming festival season in which demand of edible oils will increase. The ministry said various steps have already been taken by the government to monitor the stock of edible oils and oil seeds on a weekly basis in the country. The stakeholders have been advised not to hold stocks in excess of 2 months of the storage capacity. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today laid the foundation stone of various developmental projects in Jammu. Addressing a public rally at Bhagwati Nagar, Mr Shah said nobody can stop the era of development that has started in Jammu and Kashmir. मैं जम्मू में आया हूं सबसे पहले ये कहने आया हूं जम्मू वालों के साथ अन्याय का समय समाप्त हो चुका है अब कोई आपके साथ अन्याय नहीं कर सकता विकास दोनों का साथ में होगा कश्मीर का भी होगा जम्मू का भी होगा दोनों मिलकर भारत को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए एक साथ प्रयत्न करेंगे यहां पर जो विकास का युग शुरू हो रहा है विकास के युग में खलल पहुंचाने वाले खलल डाल रहे हैं मगर मैं आप सबको विश्वास दिलाने आया हूं विकास के युग में कोई खलल नहीं डाल पाएगा जम्मू कश्मीर के विकास को कोई रोक नहीं पाएगा The Home Minister inaugurated a new campus of the Indian Institute of Technology IIT Jammu. He was accompanied by the Union Minister Dr Jitendra Singh and Dharmendra Pradhan and Lieutenant Governor of JNK Manoj Sinha. The Home Minister asserted that if the youth join the development of JNK terrorists will fail in their sinister design. Over 102 crore 10 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. In the past 24 hours, more than 77 lakh 40,000 vaccine doses were administered. Around 16,000 new COVID-19 cases were reported in the past 24 hours, while over 16,000 people recovered. The Union Health Ministry said the COVID recovery rate in the country now stands at 98.17%, which is the highest since March of last year. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts.
Welcome back to the evening news on All India Radio. As our nation celebrates the 75th year of independence, a series of events is being organized by the government as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Let's listen to our special program, Azadi Ka Safar, highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle. Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. India's glorious fight for freedom is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the valiant struggle every day. October the 24th is the birth anniversary of Jaydev Kapoor. Jaydev Kapoor was born in 1908 in Hardoi, Uttar Pradesh. While studying in DAV College in Kanpur, he, along with Shiv Varma, joined the Hindustan Republican Association. In 1925, Jaydev was entrusted with the task of developing a revolutionary network in Banaras. Accordingly, he enrolled for the BSc course in the Banaras Hindu University. Bhagat Singh stayed in the Limdi hostel with him for several days. Jaydev received training in manufacturing bombs in Agra. He played an important role in the assembly bombing as a protest against the trade dispute bill and the public safety bill. He was arrested and sent to the cellular jail in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, popularly known as Kala Pani. <laughs> He expressed the desire to meet Bhagat Singh and other associates for the last time. Bhagat Singh handed over his brand new shoes to Jaydev, saying that the police would take them anyway. At least, Jaydev could use them. Jaydev preserved them as a souvenir. Jaydev was in Andaman cellular jail for 16 years and was released just a couple of years before India attained independence. <laughs> Twenty fourth of October is the birth anniversary of Lakshmi Sagal. Lakshmi Sagal was born on October the twenty fourth, nineteen hundred and fourteen, in Madras to S. Swaminathan and A. V. Ammukutti. Ammukutti Swaminathan was a social worker and freedom fighter who would later become a member of India's Constituent Assembly. Upon completion of high school. Lakshmi Sahgal studied at the Madras Medical College from where she completed her MBBS in 1938. The intervening years saw Lakshmi Sahgal and her family drawn into the ongoing freedom struggle. As a young doctor of 26, Lakshmi Sahgal left for Singapore in 1940. She had heard that Subhash Chandra Bose was keen on drafting women into the Indian National Army. She requested a meeting with Bose when he arrived in Singapore. After the meeting, which went for hours, she was given the mandate to set up a women's regiment, which was to be called the Rani of Chhasi Regiment. Neta ji, itna achhi tarah mera samjaya aur unno ko bata diya ki aap log sirf desh ka azadi ke liye nahi hai, mahila bhukti ke liye bhi aap log ladenge. Karab lagta hai ki hamare desh mein ham log sirf angrezon se gulam nahi hai, hamara सामाजिक भी ऐसे बुराई हैं जिसे हम लोग खुद गुलाम में को बनाते हैं डॉक्टर लक्ष्मी स्वामीनाथन बिकेम कैप्टन लक्ष्मी द आई एन ए मार्च टू बर्मा बिगैन इन डिसम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी फोर इन मार्च नाइनटीन फोर्टी फोर द जापानीज फोर्सेज बिगैन इट्स अफेंसिव इन टू इंडिया ईस्टर्न फ्रॉन्टियर द आई एन ए स्पेशल सर्विस ग्रुप रीडेजिग्नेटेड एज द बहादुर ग्रुप worked with the advanced Japanese units and pathfinders in the opening stages of the Japanese offensive in the upper Burma region and into Manipur. These were tasked to infiltrate through British lines and approach units identified as consisting of significant Indian troops and encourage them to defect. Captain Lakshmi Sahgal was arrested by the British army in May 1945. She remained under house arrest in the jungles of Burma until March 1946 when she was sent to India. 
Captain Lakshmi married Colonel Prem Kumar Sahgal, a leading figure of the INA, in March 1947. The couple moved from Lahore to Kanpur, where she continued her medical practice to help people who were displaced due to partition, thus earning the trust and gratitude of both Hindus and Muslims. In 1998, Sahgal was awarded the Padma Vibhushan. Lakshmi Sahgal died of a cardiac arrest on the 23rd of July 2012 at the age of 97 in Kanpur. October 24th is also the death anniversary of Rafi Ahmed Kidwai. Rafi Ahmed Kidwai was born on the 18th of February 1894 in Barabanki district in Uttar Pradesh. Kidwai was particularly active during the Khilafat movement during the 1920s. by which time he was a well known member of the indian national congress he was imprisoned for his part in the non cooperation movement and was released in 1922 rafi ahmed kidwai was elected to the constituent assembly from the united provinces and after independence he was appointed as the first minister of communication he inaugurated the first night air mail service subsequently he held the post of the agriculture minister Kedvai died on the 24th of October in the year 1954. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi ka safar AIR news ke sang. See you in the next episode tomorrow. In the T20 Cricket World Cup, India were 114 for four wickets in 17 overs against Pakistan in Dubai when reports last came in. Earlier, Pakistan won the toss and elected to field. In the other match, Sri Lanka defeated Bangladesh by five wickets. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says success of COVID vaccination program displays our capability. Lords health workers for establishing new benchmark in service to humanity. In his Mon Ki Baat program, Prime Minister urges people to be vocal for local and festive season. प्रधानमंत्री आत्मनिर्भर स्वस्थ भारत योजना टू बी लॉन्च टुमारो इन वाराणसी एम्स टू स्ट्रेंथन हेल्थ केयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अक्रॉस द कंट्री होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह लेज फाउंडेशन फॉर वेरियस डेवलपमेंटल प्रोजेक्ट्स इन जम्मू ओवर 102 करोड़ 10 लाख कोविड 19 वैक्सीन डोजेज एडमिनिस्टर्ड इन द कंट्री सो फार रिकवरी रेट स्टैंड एट नाइन्टी एट पॉइंट वन सेवन परसेंट एंड इन टी वर्ल्ड कप इंडिया टेक ऑन आर्च राइवल्स पाकिस्तान इन द फर्स्ट ग्रुप मैच इन दुबई एंड विद दैट वी एन द इवनिंग न्यूज गुड नाइट